How you guys doing? This is very important in reference to the laws and history in America and the facts of guidelines of law and the laws of Elliot Ness. The laws of Elliot Ness tells you why I'm untouchable. Make sure you understand that. And so there's uh, ambassador law and royal law and treasury laws of first world country. First world country information. Don't forget that, what first world country is. Now, in reference to the information of these government people and their accusations and their fabrications, I've not had, I've never been friends with any of these people. And all these people and their, their crimes of false investigations is 100% mutilation, physical assault. And read those documents about interrogation. It tells you on those, on those treasury documents that nobody has the right to interrogate me. The government is not even allowed to read me Miranda rights. They're not allowed to, to play games with my identity. They're not allowed to confuse my identity. They're not allowed to strip search me. They're not allowed to look at my skin. They're not allowed to look at my body. The raw protocol in the media is a documentation of my identity. It is an exact document of my identity. Can't be confused with anybody else. See, instead of them checking me, anybody else that came along claiming they thought they were me, it would be easy for them to look at their body and figure out that they're not me. These people have tried to play the reverse, trying to rape me, sexually assaulting me, mutilating me, damaging my face and teeth, stealing my money, fabricating against my parents, holding me hostage. Ask them what property they kidnapped me from in Beverly Hills. Ask them what locations they kidnapped me from. See if the name of their impersonator ever fucking worked at any of the places I worked at. See if their impersonator went to any of the schools I went to. See if the impersonator had any of the teachers or coaches that I ever had in sports. Look it up. There's so much information. And in reference to the idiots and the statute of limitations of their fabricated investigations is attempts of murder. I was born with royal diplomatic immunity, and it tells you why in the royal protocol, and it tells you why on treasury documents. These government people would say, oh shit, they forgot to check the treasury documents. No, that ain't going to work. The royal protocol's in the media on television 24 hours a day. You can call any TV network or radio station and they'll tell you. If they don't, then you need to send the cops over there and say, hey, where's the royal protocol documents? That's what you need to do. That's what the cops need to do at every TV station and radio station. Another thing of importance, in reference to their setups or scams, in reference to somebody playing slip and fall outside my apartment, find out what person she was in contact with. See if she was in, if she was in contact with Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra has had a history of trying to play the slip and fall game in businesses of my parents or something. Frank has always tried to play this game of trying to scam my mother and father's companies. See what kind of shit Frank tried to make up trying to extort from my parents. And see if anybody else that he is tied with has a history of those kinds of things. And another thing, in reference to uh, the abuses the sex crimes of government, they must get prosecuted no matter what. The activities of government and people fabricating that they won in court against me, they must get prosecuted for false accusing or false advertising their lies, claiming they thought they were, that they had beat me in court when nobody has ever beat me in court. You want to know why? Because I don't do shit. I don't get into shit. And in reference to the president and the person that made the accusations that he thought I threatened the president. The president has to get sued, and they have not paid yet. So the lawsuit goes up another five quadrillion fucking dollars against the president. And the former presidents that ever claimed they thought I... Any of me, anybody else claimed that they thought I threatened them? No, it's... You know, I mean, come on. What, what do you think? Wait, come on. What do you think? You, you, think, you think I threatened you? Don't you? Mr. President, former presidents, come on. You know, you know, you, you thought I threatened you, right? Come on, let's hear it. What, what do you think? Hurry up, come on, think about it real hard. Let your wildest imagination utter off the words that you thought 
You thought I threatened you. Now let's check to see which ones had restraining orders against them too. Reference to them sexually assaulting me when I was younger. Or them trying to steal my penis. Or them hitting me in the teeth. Or them holding me hostage. Or them fabricating against me. Or even senators. Was there a senator? You thought I threatened you. Come on, don't I look like a tough guy? You thought, you thought I threatened you. Don't I look like a tough girl? You know, you've been fucking up my face, you stupid fuck. There's treasury documents that says, don't ever touch my face or my body or they can kill you. I'm a hermaphrodite, one of a kind kind of person. Make sure you fucking understand that, you stupid motherfuckers. Trying to mess up my girly looks, my beautiful looks. You face a death penalty in your life in prison, motherfuckers. Another thing of importance, in reference to fabricated investigations, uh, why didn't the Supreme Court stop those people? Why didn't the Supreme Court say, hey, why isn't he at his mother and father's mansions? And the Supreme Court, why didn't you say, hey, wait a minute, these people have been trying to run him out of money. They've been burning him, making him buy odd things or strange things or, you know, different food items or, not strange things, but, you know, food items or, uh, you know, candy Things that, you know, food and things like that, whatever, you know, it's a store. New cups or plates or paper plates or, sport, uh, you know, forks and knives and shit like that, you know. Reference to plasticware, <coughs> which, you know, those are okay too, but, you know, not to be forced to have to buy those. But, you know, in reference to other things, the government was torturing me when I had Dixie plates and plastic silverware, you know. And other things, in reference to the statute of limitations. What, what the fuck did you think these people was trying to do to me when they kidnapped me from my mother and father's mansions? My parents, you know, not everybody has these types of documents, but my parents specifically made standard financial quality of living documents, which says how much goddamn fucking money I'm supposed to have on a daily basis, a minimum amount of money from my mother and father's companies and my mother and father's estates every single goddamn day. And if I did not have that amount of money, it was 100% attempts of murder against the United States government every single fucking day. And other standard qualities, such as armored vehicle, such as house accounts at places, or I was supposed to have a credit card from my mother and father's companies. I was supposed to have a credit card from the treasury too, wasn't I? Never fucking received it. Not even once. I was supposed to have documents that I can carry around to show people at businesses if I needed to. Just in case there was somebody that stole my credit card or forgot to send it or, or the treasury forgot to send something or whatever. But I don't have those documents either. So that's attempted murder, too, in reference to the person that was supposed to send the fucking documents. The world protocol is in the media 24 hours a day. There's a lot of things that are very serious that have to be talked about in reference to the uh, audacity and the intentional neglect and fucking abuse of people acting fucking stupid. Allowing people to harass me, allowing people to hurt me, allowing people to sexually assault me is what they have done. Allowing people to steal from my genetics, allowing people to, to slander my fucking character. How many gag orders has the, the Supreme Court put on these people in their false fucking investigations? And there's time limits in reference to how long they're able to look at a location for whatever the fuck they thought they were looking for. Treasure hunting's fucking illegal. And my teeth are documented as top secret for protection reasons of my teeth. So the government wouldn't have a right trying to put their fingers in my fucking mouth. So the government wouldn't have a right burning my fucking teeth. A lot of other things are classified and top secret that the government doesn't have a right touching or inspecting or even looking at with their fucking satellite or their fucking dirty fucking hands or their fucking rubber glove shit or any fucking thing of their fucking race or anybody else. The Royal Protocol is in the media 24 hours a day. It's going to catch up with the people that aren't doing their job. 
And the longer you're in those positions not doing your job, the longer in prison some of you are going to go. And yes, the role protocol can throw court judges in prison. My mother and father had to prosecute court judges before and they went to prison. The court judges went to prison. You don't understand the disrespect and the fact that you're trying to hurt my feelings all the fucking time. When I'm the only child of my parents and my parents was great individuals. And you can't fucking deny that. Check the fucking record of how wonderful my parents are in history. And I'm the only child of my parents. Got something slander to say? Let's see what race and religion you are, you motherfuckers. <laughs>